all right all right all right what's going on <laughs> i just got off of uh of of a live tonight shout out to um uh, shout out to my man uh dss trucking and my man d nitty for coming on the live with the birthday guy tonight that's what's up i really do appreciate the people that stop up in there shout out to everybody that's up in the chat shout out to everybody that support the channel and everything but that's what's up man that's what's up you know we had a good time talking about uh very very various various things so if you guys you know want to make sure you want to catch that live it's it's about close to two hours you know i know y'all attention span is a little bit on the short side but it's going to be up for a little bit but it's not going to be monetized because i play double dutch bus in there and i play rihanna's birthday cake in there so it's not going to be up um, probably till later on tonight and then tomorrow morning i'm going to take it down but i do appreciate everybody up in there that's showing me some birthday love so thank you very much um tonight man it, it, look look this industry is dangerous i mean I, I i drove past a few uh accidents on my way up here to illinois uh i hope and pray everybody was all right um yesterday there was a few accidents along the way back to ohio i hope and pray that they was all right as well uh rest in peace to my man uh eric silas if i'm pronouncing his name wrong i'm sorry but rest in peace to him you know he he lost uh he lost his life um so this driving this truck is is it's just more it's more than just driving the truck. It's more than just being a pretty face behind the wheel. It's more than just turn around and just show your phone and taking pictures and, and you, you know, you got your license and, and you all excited because you driving this 80,000 pound vehicle. It's more than that. It's more than that. Let's get into it. Ryan Little. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? Lockout Men back again with another commentary for you guys for this evening. Today is Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> Today's Sunday. Uh yo, look, let's just let's just get right into it. You guys like content like this. Yo, show me, you know, show the channel some love by hitting that like button. You know, it works, it helps, it does what it's supposed to do, and it's free. I'm locked out, man, and I'm here for the new jacks, the new hires, the new students that's coming up in this business. And I am here to tell you right now how important it is to not be distracted. OK, period. I know about distractive driving. It, it, it comes in many, many forms. It comes in from you messing with your phone it comes in from you messing with your gps it comes in from you eating and it comes in from you you know messing with the with the radio or whatever anything that takes your eyes off the road for more than a second is distracted driving now a lot of you guys is coming up in this coming up in this industry y'all shout out to you guys i'm happy for you 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 come up in here you want to do the job and you want to do the job well well this job right here is is more than you just sitting down it's you concentrating on the road for whatever reason you get a phone call that phone call could wait unless you got your headset on you know if you got the if you got the bluetooth that that will work some companies don't have a problem with you wearing Bluetooth. Snyder, on the other hand, has a telephone uh, policy that you can't be on the phone at all 
even if you have your Bluetooth. You need to pull over to the rest stop. You need to pull off on the ramp. You need to, you know, pull into a truck stop to use your phone to take care of whatever phone business it is. That's what Snyder wants you to do. Other company says it's okay to have a headset. You're good to go. No problem. No problem. Other companies like U.S. Express has a mandate, uh, ha has a policy of you not touching your GPS. You know, you guys want to know when it's the next truck stop that's coming up. You, you just happen to go up there, touch your GPS, and it'll show you a list of truck stops that's coming up. UPS don't, I mean, UPS. You, uh, U.S. Express don't want you to do that. Same thing with your Qualcomm. Now, here's my problem with the Qualcomm. You got your fleet managers or dispatchers constantly testing you on the Qualcomm. I mean, I had that problem with my past fleet managers and dispatchers that hits you on a Qualcomm that wants you to reply back to them right then and there. Okay, well, here's, you know, boop, boop, boop. All of that. All of that is distracting. It really is. And being that it is distractive, being that it, it is distractive, it, it, it will take your eyes off the road and for that quick second, your whole life can change. A lot of you guys are coming into this industry, getting into automatic trucks, which makes it I hate to say this, but it makes it a little bit more easier to be distracted. Now, if you come into a manual, you you literally have to concentrate on what gear to go in and and, you know, your left leg got to, sh you know, shift the gears and hit the clutch and all like that. That keeps your mind moving and keeps your mind focused on not only the not only the road, but it also keeps your body in motion versus the automatic truck which doesn't so just saying i'm just saying so there's three types of distraction all right there's three types of distraction it is cognitively let me make sure i'm saying that right cognitively thank you i appreciate it Cognitively. Let's say it again. Let's let's say it together. Cognitively. Cognitively. All right. Distractive. Uh, the other one is visually distracted. And the last one is manually distracted. All right. Cognitively. What does it say? Cognitively. All right. Thank you very much. Cognitively distraction occurs when your mind is wandering away from the road. When your mind wanders, you become less aware of what's happening around you. This could put yourself and others in dangers. It is difficult to it's difficult to avoid being cognitively distracted. What is it? Cognitively. Thank you very much. The home of the highway is almost hypnotic. Like if you get on one of these long ass roads that just leads to eternity, then yeah, your mind can just start wandering off into the sunset. And all of a sudden you'll be in a ditch somewhere. However, though, it is important to stay alert and aware of what's happening in the world around you. All right. So here we go. You want to know what you can do from not being cognitively cognitively distracted. This is what you do. Try listening to something calm that won't cause you, you know, a strong reaction. Make a pit stop when you get hungry. You know, when you get hungry or when you have to use the bathroom or something like that. I know a majority of us, you know, when we in that seat, you know, we got that we got that piss bottle. We just but why not just, you know, find, uh, you know, find a pullover spot, a safe pullover spot. Get out of the truck, 
walk around the truck to you know get your mind back focused uh strong feelings when you're listening can cause you to react physically which could become dangerous if you if you cognitively cognitively being distracted all right so make sure you have something to you know make sure you have some good music to listen to make sure you listen to the lockout men podcast and let it you know binge binge listen to that and maybe that'll that'll get you going down the way the next one is visually distractive here we go visually 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 okay well thank you hold on let's let's break it down visually visually thank you visually distractive all right visually 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 is visual distraction that is characterized by taking your eyes off the road even for a split second such a short amount of time can have terrible consequences visually make sure you find something you're comfortable listening to for a while if you're not a fan after the first little bit find a safe place to pull over on the road to adjust your radio alternatively try to grind and bear it until the next pit stop it may be hard but it keeps you safer all right additionally program your gps before hitting the road program your radio program your ipod program your music before you hit the road all right avoid having to check or even change it along the way even if you feel confident about knowing your way in the beginning it can't hurt to be safe and to have the gps program just in case and that is visually visually being distracted the last one the last one is manually distractive what is it manually oh uh, thank you thank you what what one more time manually let's learn how to pronounce that manually all right so manually distractive okay or distracted my fault manually bleh. manually manual distractions happens when your hands are off the wheel if your hands leave the wheel while you're driving you lose control and that's the last thing you want when driving a large vehicles now a lot of us okay a lot of us are the one-handed drivers you know the one-handed drivers with the arm out the window with the seat back just leaning gangster leaning in the car chucking up the deuces you know i like that you don't want to do that in a truck you want to have both hands on the wheel to keep control of the truck at all times let me say it again all times yo hit hit it off one more time manually thank you very much in order to avoid taking your hands off the wheel eat a snack during your break from driving it may be convenient to eat while driving to avoid stopping for too long but it's worth protecting yourself and others in the long run initially make sure that everything is properly secured or in place before hitting the road to avoid adjustments while driving not only does adjusting something like your seat belt like the radio like the gps uh will take your hands off the wheel but it can also cause the other hand to move the wheel and swerve your vehicle so uh, have you guys ever heard of anything like when your eyes go to the left when you like driving uh like driving and your eyes go to the left and you happen to veer off to the to the right i'm gonna do it that way it's my left it's my right okay so if if i'm looking at the left 
and I'm veering off to the right because I'm only I'm only driving with one hand. Had that ever happened to you guys? If so, let me know in the comments below. The reason why there are so much emphasis on not testing and driving is because of the combination of all three types of distraction. What is it again? Manually. Thank you. Manually distraction. All right. Each type of distractive driving is dangerous enough on its own, but the combination of them all can be deadly to yourself and others. If you're concerned about being reached, a hands-free device is always an option. However, hands-free device can be just as distracting. So proceed with caution. Manually. All right. All right. So those are the those are the three types of distraction and they are cognitively visually manually distractions. <laughs> I like this. Let's let's do it one more time. What what are they? Cognitively. Uh-huh. Visually. Okay. Manually. And they all, they, 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 they are all types of distractions that I want you guys to pay attention and learn not to be distracted while you're driving this truck. All right. All right. So for tips, all right, just drive the truck. If you need to stop somewhere to walk around to, to get your mind back focused, do that. If you need a Bluetooth, Go to any truck stop to buy Bluetooth. If you need to eat, eat on your break. All right. I know it's a lot easy to do things like take a take a pee in a bottle while you're driving. That could be distracted, too, because you're going to actually have to take your hand off the wheel and hold the bottle out down on your stuff so you can use the bathroom. All right. Same thing with same thing with uh, Bluetooth. You know, you and your you and your significant other friend, best friend or whatever, or you get to an argument or y'all could talk about something sad that might just take your mind off the road for that hot minute. And then there there it is. But if you guys just just drive this truck like you're supposed to be driving and be safe about it, then you will be you, you'll get down the road, down the way and you'll be good to go. All right, that's going to do it for the Lockout Men podcast show for tonight. I really do appreciate you guys being here. I am Lockout Men, and I am here for the new Jets, the new people, the new guys. That's what's up. We are here. So if you find any value in this content right here, hit that like button. It's free. It works, and it does what it's supposed to do. Until next time, everybody, y'all take it easy, and I'll come back at you with another one. Peace.